Everybody, I'm Zach with Blackbird FPV. Blackbird FPV. And I want to show you how you can run PPM mode on CC3D using OneShot125. As a lot of you know, we have always been able to run PPM mode until the new version of 15.2 that was released, allowing us to run the KISS ESE, the BL Heli, uh, so we can use like reactive braking and all with the one shot 125. Now, on your CC3D, you actually have your main plug, which has eight wires. As you can see, your eight wires, you have three that are joined together, which is your black, red, white, and five individual wires, which is your blue, yellow, green, orange, and purple. Now, in order to make PPM work with the CC3D on for one shot 125, you have to take this white pin, which is the third pin, Pull that out and place it where the purple pin is, which is the last pin on the opposite side. That is the only way it will actually work for PPM. See if you can see a shot of it here. If you actually see in mine, you can actually see that I have it done to mine. It's kind of hard to see there. But... You can see the white wires all the way at one end, and your black and red are where they originally are, going into a CC3D. Now, I use Immersion's Easy UHF light, which would allow me to plug that one connector, which is your black, red, and white wire, into its number one pin, which that has nothing that needs to be changed. Make sure that it's set up in your Easy UHF light if that's what you're going to use. If not, you need to look at your other receiver and plug it into the right port. Once you're done, you'll end up with the remainder wire like this. And you'll end up with this harness with three wires left. The white wire ending all the way at the end where the purple wire should go. Remove all the others as you don't need them. Hope this helps everybody. I enjoy using CC3D with OneShot125. I know I will and many others. And if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to write us at blackbirdfpvfl at gmail.com.